Hi. I uh, wanted to make a quick little video to catch up with you on Connected Educator. I hope you're having a great week. Uh, we are day five, uh, October 5th, so that's day five. Uh, but uh, you by no means have to keep up with each day on what's going on in the Connected Educator Kit. Um, but if you are interested in getting started, uh, those of you who came to the kickoff got this printed out. I'm going to have the link to the starter kit digitally down below the video. Uh, that's the preferred way of looking at it because there are lots of links and uh, videos and things like that. Um, but I do like this paper version to sort of sift through. So if you've been following along, you may have done these activities. If you haven't done it, um, that's okay. You can do these. So day one was what is the Connected Educator. There was a lot of good stuff. I highly encourage you to look at that one. Day two was what is Web 2.0. Uh, if you don't know what Web 2.0 is, it's uh, something you really need to learn about. And if you do know, then you might learn about some new tools. Uh, there are always new ones popping up every day. Um, day three is probably one of the most important days, I think, and that was Twitter. Uh, so that would have been like Saturday uh, if you were doing it at home, but if not, that's okay. You can do it at any time. But Twitter is probably the most uh, important tool I've used to become more connected. So it was so important that there are actually three days. There's a day then, day four on hashtags, is how to find things that are interesting to you um, or to tag your posts so that others can find them, and then interact with you. Um, we have a hashtag for Connected Educators. It's that uh, hashtag CE15. So if you go on Twitter, uh, do a search for that, and you'll find some content. Uh, day five is even more Twitter. So again, that was pretty big. We are actually, if I look at the calendar here, and I'm going to pull, pull it up, is up until Friday, that's the night. So um, we have Facebook uh, on day six. Keep in mind there is a policy about being friends with students that you, you sh you're not allowed to be friends with students on Facebook, current students. Um, but it's a great tool. Um, and that's like personally be friends. Uh, you got YouTube, which is what I'm using right now. So you can use YouTube to uh, send out information, tell a story. Day eight is digital storytelling. Uh, if you've heard about that but you're not quite sure what it is, check that out. And day nine is tell your story. So there are a lot like YouTube, digital storytelling, and tell your story. Seven, eight, and nine kind of go together too. So if you're interested in that, check it out. Um, there are lots more activities, maybe that doesn't appeal to you, leaf through or, or just scroll through that Connected Educator Toolkit and find something that is uh, in your uh, interest because this is professional development for you, um, how you want to learn, how you learn best. So really, you need to personalize this, but these are some great activities to get you started. Have a great week. Bye.